Hail all heathens, this is the Raven and the Wolf, your independent heathen channel, where we do not do things like other people do. <laughs> I will probably change that opening several times during the course of this channel. So, this is a rant, and it's time for the Battle Axis to come out, to, because this German girl is angry. German, Italian, you know, angry. So I am part of a lovely group on Facebook called Heathens Against Hate. And if anybody is interested in joining, please go on Facebook, type Heathens Against Hate. I'll be guys linked down below so you guys can find them. If you are against hate and all the other stuff that makes us look bad, then definitely join. So, all right. So in the so, let me get my thoughts together before I look before I end up looking like a bubbling mess. Okay, Steve McNallan, it is time for me to freaking talk about him. And if I am repeating anything, I am truly sorry, but I don't think I am. If I am, I'll just like before I upload this video, I'll just go ahead and review the last video I did. And if I don't mention this, then I'll upload the video. If I did mention it, you won't get the video, but anyways, um, so I was on Heathens, Heathens Against Hate, and they were talking about my least favorite person in the whole wide world, Steve McNallan. <laughs> Alright, there's one thing that I really really, really do not like about him. First and foremost, he's a bona fide racist. He's all heritage and white people getting together. And, and before I even begin, or before I even continue, I want to say this. There's nothing wrong with people coming together and feeling love and drinking meat and, and honoring the gods and, and all that type of stuff. You know, Native Americans get together and they honor their deities after the federal government tried to basically destroy it. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew Jackson. I don't love you. But, um, but so, he does this, this stupid article that really shows that uh, he has forgotten that, uh, uh, yeah, he actually had to fight for for our, our, our country and, you know, that cover people he didn't like. But anyways, um, so we did this article about the Russ, and I'm a big history buff. I love reading about history. It makes me smart. It doesn't make me a douchebag. The Russ is the name of a group of people to which we get the name Russia from. They were the first people that settled in the area that we known as Mother Russia. And there was a Arab chronicler, and I will use the word Arab because Arab is the name for a group of people that live in the Middle East. Uh, and so he goes off on this stupid, retarded tangent about how the Rus fought with the Byz fought alongside the Byzantine emperors, didn't were, was never forcibly converted to Christianity, which is a load of, um, and fought against the Muslims. Mm. No. There is absolutely no evidence of this. I mean, there's no evidence the Byzantines ever went into Russia, or what's going to be known as Russia, because it was freaking too cold. If you guys come with some information to prove that the Byzantines were in what we know as Russia, and it's written by somebody from a little university... Uh, I would appreciate it because I like to improve myself as a human being.
the Rus only had contact with the Arabs when they traded. And I'll give you a little insight. There's a lovely program called Mankind, the Story of Us All. And I just love the History Channel when they're not talking about ancient aliens and, oh, the aliens built the pyramids. <laughs> no, they did not. Um, or aliens built Stonehenge. I'm like, no, they did not. Um, and there's a lot of theories about Stonehenge, and I'm going to get into that in this field. But anyways, <laughs> sorry, I'm having a giggle fest here. So, um, so there is this Arab chronicler, and I don't know if it was two Arab chroniclers or just one. Uh, those little, that little thing is sketchy, but. There was a there was a Arab chronicler that chronicled two things that he saw when he was out and about in the world. One of them was a port, and he stated, and this is actually written down by other heathens or Norse Germanic people, that he witnessed a Norseman. I wouldn't say a Viking, you know. Uh, Viking does not. All right, let me let me stop here for a second. For those idiots out there that actually think Viking refers to the entire group of people that worship Odin and Thor and Frigga and Freya and all those deities, uh, could you please please stop uh, reading your New Age metaphysical pile of pig slop? Viking only applied to the people that actually plundered and raped and killed and all that type of stuff and enslaved people. Uh, it did not apply to all the other people. It applied to only the actual act. So Viking means pillaging. So go to go Viking means to pillage. So okay, so class, you have been thoroughly educated. Um, the Rus wanted steel or one of the materials to make steel. And the reason they wanted to make wanted the materials to make steel was they had to make their infamous long swords. And you know, for a very long time I wondered how in the world did the Vikings get you know actually no yeah. I wonder how they were able to get the uh, metal for their long their long swords. Uh, they're broadsword. Anyways, um, if I'm if I said the term wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, found out they got the trade, and the group of people that had a large concentration of this particular type of metal was the Arabs. So the Arabs would come to Rus land, basically I call it Rus land because it's the land of the Rus, and they would trade. And there was a lot of stuff that they traded with the Rus for. Um, I'm going to go on a limb and say Chinese silk because Russia was so close to China. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm thoroughly sorry. So this chronicler was busy trading with the Russ when he noticed that they were getting ready for a funeral. And we know from accounts that chieftain's bodies were cremated. So there was a woman or girl that agreed to be a human sacrifice because she wanted to go to Bahala with her chief. Uh, there might have been some love there. I don't know. Uh, I might think there might have been some love. I think they might have been intimately involved. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I run that theory because of the fact is that she was willing to actually be killed. So they gave her mead and they got her semi-drunk and this woman basically dragged her to the longboat, stabbed her through the whatever part of the body that causes instant death, and they were burned together and they went to Valhalla. This was the first recording, as far as I know of, of a Viking funeral. Why in the world would the Rus trade with people that they're going out there and slitting their throats? Why would they? 
the answer is they never did. See, Viking, see, the Norse, they didn't care about your religion. Um, all you, all they wanted was stuff. Stuff and respect. So, Steve McNallan and his stupid article about the fact is that the Rus were fighting against the uh, Arabs and was killing them and they were in service of the Byzantine. I have read tons of books about the Byzantine Empire and they never mention them. Unless I'm reading from the wrong professors, I don't know. Because I was interested in that period of time because I'm a big history buff and it wasn't there. So this man gives me a headache. He really does. Because he is spouting this this garbage out of his part of my French out of his ass. And one of the uh the virtues that Norse people, or, you know, people that follow this brand of Reconstructionism is truth. Why is a guy who professes to be a follower of Odin or Thor and following the Nine Noble Virtues, which includes speaking the truth, is lying? And it just... I don't know. I, I just really don't know. And they're everywhere. I mean, this one nice gentleman who subscribed to me uh, said that one of his friends turned out to be a mind-controlling person. You know, controlling how you do things and all that type of stuff. You know, we encountered that with Warren Jeffs, and that's an entirely different organism. Uh... And we've encountered all the other freaks in nature that are my controlling part of my French jackasses. They all end up either dead or in prison. Uh, but, you know, it just, I just shake my head. And to add insult to injury, there was people that actually with them. Because this is why I'm independent, okay? I'm not part of any, I'm not part of the trope, I'm not part of the Ossetrude Folk Alliance with their little mind control, you know, with his mind controlling minions. I'm not. I'm independent. I'm myself. And I don't care if you don't like how I do things. So I am going to let you guys go and I'm going to review my last other one and if I mention anything of this I will delete this video and I will do my little other video. Um, so. um, but I'm going to tell you something, that's a problem if you do any number of videos you're always going to end up repeating yourself for some unknown reason. I guess it just proves Americans or people in general have a very short attention span or a very short memory. So uh, be well, be happy. I hope you guys will have a wonderful second. Uh, mine will be awesome because I get to stay up late and, and be happy. It's February. <laughs> I actually am happy it's February because the next month is going to be spring and we can start thinking about shorts and I can think about that wonderful fountain that's going to be operating and the water's going to be coming out and I'm going to be touching the walls. Oh, so good. It actually does. It actually does feel good. So um, I will see you guys then. Bye.